My name is Mr. Fritz, and we're going to chop some samples and do some drums. So what we have here is a session for Sinner, which is the other most popular song on my last project. And the sample is by Jeff and the Spiritual Layers, and it's called Time for Jesus. It's a gospel sample. Uh, shout out to Rockwell Knuckles from the Knuckles Band out of St. Louis. He's the one that gave me the sample, and I was obsessed with the sample when I first made it. I made it, uh, I want to say 2017. So for the intro, uh, what I did was I put some vinyl crackle underneath the actual intro sample chop, and I automated the wear control in Isotope Vinyl. It started off at max, and as the sample's playing, the wear control comes down so that it sounds like a record and it's transitioning into an actual modern song. So you can hear how that sounds right now. That's the intro. Uh, for actual processing I did on the sample, which this is how old it was, I was still using Pro-Q too. All I did was lob off the lows and I ran it through Vitamin. Uh, Vitamin, I think it's like a multi-band processor, at least that's what it looks like anyway. And I did it to bring out the, uh, the vocal sample in the sample and made it sound good. The loop isn't really that complicated, it's just uh, the piano parts that I really liked and it sounds a little something like this. And it's pretty much just a continuous loop throughout the whole uh, verse part. But now we can get to the drum programming. So the drums took me a while to do. I kept on coming back to this beat because I was obsessed with the sample while I was working on it. And it started off with me using a program called Easy Drummer just to lay down the uh, hi-hat parts. All right, so we're going to start off with the first hi-hat part. It was just like the swing that I got from Easy Drummer uh, really fit the beat. I think and I really like the way it sounded so it's gonna sound like this it's gonna have the kick in it because it's organized like FL Studio 11 but bear with me and just listen to the pattern and then I did a second hi-hat pattern which added some uh, symbols to a similar pattern like this. And it was just to switch up the feel. Like I started off with the regular um, hi-hats and then the cymbals came in and gave it a little bit uh, more movement to it. So I guess I'll just play the entire drum pattern so you can get a feel for how it sounds, along with the bass that I played uh, from Omnisphere. Well, actually from Trillion, but Trillion's a patch in Omnisphere now anyway. So here's the entire drum pattern. Real dope. Um, let's start off with the main kick, which is a BLK, which sounds like it's from the Ninth Wonder kit. Ran it through our bass, you know, to give it some low end, just a little bit, uh, low mids. Uh, notched off some frequencies I didn't like with the uh, Pro-Q2, and I ran it through the SSLG channel. Um, doesn't look like I'm doing that much compression, just like kissing it a little bit. Pause. And um, looks like I raised the um, the mids a little bit and filtered out some of the low end. So yeah, nothing too complicated. But then once again, my standard trick, I layered it with a bass drum. This time a different one um, from a different kit. I layered the hi-hat from Easy Drummer with my own hi-hat just to give it a little bit of uh, variance. And a little crash. 
a little bit of tambourine, some timbales. I don't know what a tab is, but I just threw it in there. And I got the Clive from um, Good Morning by Kanye West. And it sounds like this. Then for the bass part, it's, this probably took me the longest to get all of the notes right. Got it from Trillion. And it's from the Clean Fender Mute Full Range preset. And it sounds like this, the first version anyway. And for processing for the bass, I ran it through the CLA 2A. I didn't have the UAD one at the time, which is the one I prefer to use nowadays. And I lobbed off all the highs and one annoying frequency right here. And I use Camel Crusher because I always use Camel Crusher and those two presets I was talking about before. Tube Warmth and British Clean. Both my favorite presets out of anything I have. Um, bass number two is just a small switch up uh, at the end of the pattern. And it sounds like this. Literally the only thing. For the third one, that's what I did for the, the chorus, which I'll play right now. And I'll just play the chorus all together. Yeah, it sounds real Kanye West inspired. I wasn't thinking about it like that when I first made it. Uh, I was just wanting to chop up a dope ass um, gospel sample, but that's just the way it came out. And I did a lot of work to it. Uh, these are the drums for the switch up, by the way. They're real simple, but. The kick almost sounds kind of 8 bit ish. I ran through the Fruity Wave Shaper. I was using this a lot back in the day before I got the uh, the Massey tape head. Um, the R bass, this time for some lows, uh, around 50 hertz. And the SSL G channel. This one, once again, light compression. I ran through analog mode. When you turn analog mode on with the, um, the G channel, it kind of limits the sound within the thing, within the plugin. I don't know if that's what it actually does, but I noticed that when you... Turn on analog mode. If it's clipping before, it's an analog mode. When you turn it on, it stops clipping. So I don't know if that's a, a thing or what. I'll look it up later. And um, for the clap, that's two claps. It's the Cool Man Cookie Clap, which once again, I ran through the Wave Shaper and threw some reverb on it, free reverb. And for the uh, Vibe Snare, I ran through Renaissance Axe, uh, just a little bit to boost it up. At the end of the beat, once again, if you have a sample, you have to run it through halftime or gross beat just to see how it sounds. And I built a drum pattern around it. So it sounds like this. <laughs> Which all you do is take the pattern and you put it together at full speed like this. Hold on. This is what it sounds like at full speed. But when you run it through halftime, it sounds like this. It's a three-step pattern, but you know, it stretches out when you run it at half speed. Just a superstar oak snare. A 5 a.m. 808. I don't even know what kit that's from. And the Bud Dwyer kick. So all in all, it was a it was a lot of work to put this all together, as you can see. There's a bunch of work on the drums to make it sound like a real drum break or a modern drum break. But it's one of my favorite beats I ever worked on. It took me 
two and a half weeks to put together all the way. And I'm really satisfied with it. You guys can listen to the song from Mattapan with Love. It's called Sinner. It's on my most recent project. And yeah, let me know what you guys think. I'm going to break down some more stuff and hopefully I'll see you guys soon. Talk to you later.